Well, hey there, and how are you today? We are on part two of the gazebo. I'm hoping part two is also let's finish the gazebo. And with that being said, let's just get started. So I just, while I was, you know, laying in bed perusing things like people do, I decided that these handrails needed one more level. So I trimmed up a whole bunch more of these little coffee stir sticks to glue those to the handrails. So here we go. Eventually, I'll glue it. Because I thought that just doubled up, it would look a little more substantial. Oof. And by the way, uh, hot glue burns are a real thing, I tell you. Or maybe it's just me, but I tend to get little hot glue burns frequently, which is not very pleasant, let me tell you. Those of you who've had those, had them, you already know. So let me try a different method. Maybe a less, you know, Bernie the hands method. Oops. I need to melt some of this glue in here. So. Anyway, I will catch up with you when I'm through doubling up the banisters. Okay, I now have the banisters doubled up. As you can see, I have not yet painted this thing because I'm just going to paint it all at once. But until then, I want to get started on some little details. So I have these little popsicle sticks here, or whatever, uh, Treat sticks, that's what they're called. Found them in the cake decorating section. And what I'm going to do is cut them down. I'll give you a moment and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now it's time to put up the little accent piece up here. So I started here because I was seriously trying, trying to figure out just now exactly how I was going to do this. And so what I've done is I've taken copy stir sticks, as you're probably familiar by now, and I cut it down to match, you know, to fit in here, and then I cut up a whole bunch of these little treat sticks that I found in the um, baking section at, like, Walmart, and I cut them down to these kind of lengths. However long you want to cut them is up to you, but I want to cut them to just kind of come below here. And so, what I did, and this might seem kind of backwards, but I tried a couple different methods, and this is the one that I found worked best for me. You can obviously do however works best for you. But for me, I found that by putting the little um, base to it on first, oops, I need to put some. And as you can see, that's on, like so. And then I actually glued these in from here. I thought it would be easier to glue them to the base and then put it on, but for me, it wasn't working. Now, for you, you might find that it works wonderfully. So you do whatever works best for you. And I only put in three at a time because um, I'd like to say there's this fantastic, mind-numbingly, spontaneous reason why I chose three. But honestly, it's because even with only doing three, it required me to cut down 18 of them. And I just didn't want to cut down more than that. So that's why I went with three on each one. Yep, full truth there. Ouch! Okay. All right, 
going to get this one up. And you know what? I'll catch up with you guys when I'm through with getting the rest of these up. So let's get this one in place. There you go. I'll catch up with you in a couple minutes. Okay, did you get them all up? So on mine, this is how it looks. So, yeah. Okay, on to the next step. Okay, so I, I wanted to have a little detail for in some of these. So I picked up two, two of these sets. I, <laughs> I found these at Hobby Lobby. I should have bought three of them because um, for some reason I'm thinking, oh, I only have six sides. So I only need six, six of these because I was a dunderhead and didn't think about one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, I, anyway, yeah. So I think that for now, until I can get back to Hobby Lobby, I'll probably just put them up in the entrance areas and then they'll get painted white with the rest. So obviously you can do whatever you want or do nothing in there, but I wanted some kind of little thing in there. Let me put it up and see how it looks. Who knows, it might look hideous and I'll, and I'll have saved myself a little bit of money by not having counted correctly. You know, things happen. But I figured for $1.49, it wasn't a bad price for a, an experiment. Okay, I will not put up any of the others though because then I'll be too aware that I do not have enough and I will obsess on it and then end up driving when I should not be driving because honestly normally at this time I'm already in bed but I'm staying up because I'm kind of excited and I want to uh, get the gazebo done you know really done done I I know I've made some videos with it already because I was impatient and I couldn't wait now I had to step away and take a break from this project here. I, um, believe it or not, since I, I last spoke and put these in, I then tried to, I then went and put a, a roof on this gazebo. And it, however, it made it too tall to fit in the space where I needed to go on the shelves. So I'm, this gazebo is going to be roofless. And honestly, I like it better without the roof. So, um, but you're, you are certainly, if you want to make a roof, you go ahead and make a roof. I'm good without it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is put some flooring in here. Cause although I don't mind it really being clear, it's kind of funky. So let me put in the flooring. All right, so I made a, you know this kind of shape and I'm just going to place it on the floor in here and hope that it doesn't do too badly I don't even know if I want to glue it down though I don't know let me see I think it needs to be glued down I went with white flooring because I'm painting the rest of this white so it seemed to be make the most sense at the time. Oh. Okay. We have flooring. All right, now to paint, which I'm going to admit is a part I've been least looking forward to, but I think it'll look fantastic when it is finished. So I'm just going right now with this acrylic, um, quick drying paint. I like to find paint everywhere because that's just how I roll. But yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how this will all look when it's all done.
And being wood, it'll probably take a couple coats because wood can be thirsty. I think I'll probably even paint the little dowels because it makes sense. I mean, the little white popsicle dowels, you know, because they might not be the same shade of white otherwise. I don't know about you, but the first coat of paint for me is always the most um, problematic. Once I get the first coat on, it seems to go better. Uh, we will see. It should go better, of course. And I'm going to paint these white as well. And um, I'm not going to make you watch me paint all of this because that would just be um, almost as boring as watching paint dry. And I do not myself enjoy that. So I will check back in with you when I'm through painting. Okay, so I have its first layer of paint done and... Um, I think I got more on me than the gazebo. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how it is. I'm going to be putting another layer on after it dries, but I do think it looks so much better already just with all the white there. So yeah, I think that's working. So anyway, um, once it dries, I am going to Put another layer on. <laughs> 